Welcome back to our module on Asian Ethical Teachings. And for the third part, our topic is going to be on Confucianism. And still with us is Dr. Manuel D. Jr. So welcome back, sir. Uh, all right, sir. So now we are going to talk about the third uh, major Asian religion, which is Confucianism. So can you please uh, provide us, sir, with uh, the basic tenets of this okay. religion? Uh, <clears throat> The, actually, the Confucius had three aims in life, mm -hmm. okay? and the three aims are to reform society, mm -hmm. okay? uh, namely the government, mm -hmm. okay? <coughs> educate the people, mm -hmm. and transmit the culture of the Chou Dynasty. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. So, if you look at these three aims, mm -hmm. uh, they really uh, center on education mm -hmm. because it is okay. through education mm -hmm. that you can reform the government the society mm -hmm. and it is also through education that you can transmit the culture of mm -hmm. your own your country okay. uh, in other words patriotism mm -hmm. nationalism mm -hmm. okay. now the confucian uh, education first of all uh, <coughs> for confucius education is for all is for all mm -hmm. okay because during his time education was only limited to the elite okay to the officials in the government mm -hmm. so the radical uh, transformation mm -hmm. there of confucius was that he made education available mm -hmm. to everyone I see. in okay. education there are no classes mm -hmm. rich or poor ka, you're entitled mm -hmm. to education mm -hmm. okay and the education that uh, uh, confucius taught was the the four cardinal virtues. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the four cardinal virtues? Mm -hmm. You have Ren, mm -hmm. uh, which is translated as uh, benevolence, mm -hmm. human heartedness, mm -hmm. um, kindness. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when Confucius was asked for the meaning of Ren, he said it is to love people. I see. Okay. okay, and then the second is E. Mm -hmm. uh, which is translated as righteousness. Mm -hmm. okay. Righteousness is doing what is right, mm -hmm. not because of the fear of punishment mm -hmm. or the desire for a reward, mm -hmm. but because it is right. I see. Mm. Okay. And then you have tr which is translated as wisdom. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, wisdom, when Confucius asked, was asked for the meaning of truth, he said, Wisdom is to know people. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and the important thing about wisdom is that uh, you practice what you know. Mm -hmm. you know uh, knowledge is the beginning of action, mm -hmm. and action is the completion of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. from a Neo Confucian philosopher. Okay. Okay. And then the last virtue is Li, mm -hmm. which is translated as propriety. Mm -hmm. It corresponds to our good manners and right conduct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. So these are the four cardinal virtues. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. But the most important of, the, of them all is Ren, really. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so Ren is often translated as human heartedness, mm -hmm. love, okay. but it begins in the family. Okay. The root okay. of Ren is filial piety, mm -hmm and brotherly respect. Mm -hmm. So love for one's brother mm -hmm. and love for one's parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but there are two aspects of Ren. Mm -hmm. And this came about when Confucius was asked, you know, Master, you have said so many things. Mm -hmm. Is there not a theme mm -hmm. running through all your teachings? Mm -hmm. And the answer of Confucius was, what do you think of me? You know, Kala mo sa akin sabog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mayroon akong dalawang tema. Mm -hmm. And that is Chung and Shu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chung is, uh, okay, let's start with Shu. Mm -hmm. uh, Shu is, uh, is the golden rule. Okay. okay. Uh, and Chung is the, is translated as consensuousness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the golden rule, or Shu, is often uh, formulated in the negative. Mm -hmm. Do not do unto others mm -hmm. 
what you do not want others to do unto you. Okay. Now there is a there are serb several <laughs> misinterpretations mm -hmm. of the golden rule of Confucius, mm -hmm. which should be I know, brought to light because mm -hmm. you know these are really misinterpretations. Mm -hmm. okay. One misinterpretation is to compare the golden rule of Confucius mm -hmm. with the golden rule of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Christ is positive. Mm -mm. Do unto others what you want others to do, do unto, unto you. you. Mm -mm. And Confucius negative. Mm -mm. Do not do unto others. Mm -hmm. No, that is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you read the Analects, mm -mm. there are positive formulations of the golden rule. Mm -mm. For example, mm -mm. if you want to be successful, mm -mm. you have to help others succeed. Mm -mm. Another example is when you are in a foreign country, mm -hmm. You must act like the horse. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's a positive. Do what the Romans do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, in other words, you you yes. act in accordance in to as, as if you were the horse. Yes. In other words, ah. do unto others what you would what like others, others to do unto okay. you. No, mm. if you were yeah. the visitor, mm -mm. no, you would want to be treated this way, this diba? Way. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's a golden rule in yes. the positive. Uh -huh. In the positive sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's one misinterpretation. Uh -huh. The other misinterpretation is to interpret the golden rule as do unto others what they did to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> an eye for an eye, uh -huh, a tooth for a tooth, uh -huh. and everybody goes blind and toothless mm -hmm. according to Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one another misinterpretation. Mm -hmm. The other misinterpretation is this do unto others before they do it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lamangan na yan. Lamangan. <laughs> lamangan. Oh. So he said, the other one is revenge, right? Oh. But this one is lamangan. Lamangan na. Advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so we should interpret, of course, the golden rule mm -hmm. uh, together with the other aspect of red. Uh -huh. And that is, uh, the other aspect is conscientiousness. Conscientiousness. No? Mm -hmm. It really means uh, putting your heart at the center of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Or as uh, mm -hmm. one advertisement I think it's Sprite ba? Mm -hmm. Magpakatotoo ka. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You cannot separate the two aspects, mm -hmm. the golden rule from the consensusness. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. like you cannot love the other without loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to be true to yourself before you can be true to others. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you must love yourself before you can love others, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you cannot separate the two because if you if you separate one from the other, mm -mm. you are bound to misinterpret the mm -hmm. golden rule. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Uh, like one German philosopher, mm -hmm. uh, Immanuel Kant, mm -hmm. misinterpreted the golden rule. Mm -hmm. no? He said it's too subjective. Mm -mm. No? And he, he cites the example, you know, I don't want to, to be, I don't want to help others in their problems. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I, I do not want others to help me in my problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and another instance that he cites is a judge, a criminal, can say to the judge, mm -hmm. "Hey, judge, you don't want to be judged, right? Mm -hmm. So don't judge me." <laughs> I see. Oh. Okay. So uh, it's a misinterpretation. It's a misinterpretation uh -huh, okay. because you are isolating the golden rule from mm -hmm. the other aspect of. Mm -hmm. and that is consensusness. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. uh, to be, are you true to yourself if you do not want others to help you in your problems? Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm. okay. Is the judge being true to himself mm -hmm. if he does not judge the criminal? Mm -hmm. He's not being true to his yes. position as mm -hmm. a judge, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. it, it, the two always go together. I see. Okay. So what will be the standard of a good follower of Confucianism, who is the good a follower of uh -huh. wh what will be the characteristics of this person? Ah, uh, well, he has to be, he has to practice good manners and right conduct. Mm -hmm. That's Li. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is important in Li, though, is that the spirit, uh -huh. the spirit you're doing it. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Uh, so there are rituals that you have to follow, mm -hmm. okay? but it's rituals. the spirit that counts, mm -hmm. and the spirit is res res the spirit is respect, 
respect for the other person. Uh -huh, okay. okay. Now, and then of course, you have the, uh, you have uh, wisdom. Okay. Wisdom. Wisdom is not so much knowing things, mm -hmm. but it's knowing people. Uh -huh, no. Okay. Uh, when you are later in the in the job uh, mm -hmm. in a in a career in a job, mm -hmm. of course, learning the skill is important. Mm -hmm. But what is more important mm -hmm. is how to be with people, how mm -hmm. to know people, no? mm -hmm. know your people, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the, the mm -hmm. virtue of righteousness, righteousness. No? Okay? The motive for, for your action mm -hmm. must be because it is the right thing to do, okay? not for okay. any other thing. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. And, of course, the most important virtue for Confucius is the virtue of friend, mm -hmm. which is really pakikipagkapwa tao. Yeah. which okay. is really loving mm -hmm, mm -hmm, loving mm -hmm. people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now uh, what is uh, what evolved though mm -hmm. eventually mm -hmm. in neo-confucianism is that uh, this love for people ex was extended mm -hmm. uh, to the whole universe I see okay, okay. Uh -oh. uh, so that's the similarity with Buddhism. Yeah, it, mm -mm. it did not include only human beings, mm -hmm. but the whole of nature. Uh -huh, okay. okay. And so, uh, uh, in the in the context of the hierarchical role in mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. there is now a more universal mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. okay, and that is with the whole of nature. I see. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So, sir, uh, in what countries do we uh, do we see? the practice of Confucianism? Oh, many. Uh -huh. uh, China. China. Korea. Korea. Japan. Japan. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And the reason why I'm asking you these questions is because uh, we admire, not for example, Korea and Japan, we admire this, uh, the people or these countries for their uh, economic advancement, for the discipline of their, yeah. of their people. Mm. Is there a relationship between let's say, the economic advancement of these countries yes. and their adherence to Confucianism. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, the discipline. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you have in, in, in Confucianism, uh, you know, the, the, lead, the practice of Li, mm -hmm. which is really discipline, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, <coughs> I was uh, I was giving a paper once in Korea, okay, mm -hmm. <coughs> and I was talking about uh, Filipino time, okay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and of course uh, our concept of Filipino time is being late, yes. okay. <laughs> After I delivered my paper, uh -huh. uh, my Korean friend mm -hmm. uh, approached me and told me, you know, we used to have Korean time, mm -hmm. and it's exactly the same meaning as your Filipino time. Oh, okay. But it disappeared. Uh -huh. When did it disappear? Mm -hmm. When Korea became very progressive. Mm -hmm. okay. Just Korean time just disappeared. Mm -hmm. So our Filipino time would eventually disappear if, mm -hmm. we, uh, if we progress mm -hmm. as a nation. Mm -hmm. I see. So it's the discipline. So if you are a follower of Confucianism, it's expected that you uh, that you practice certain disciplines, right? Like what you said about Korean time, and then eventually that discipline can translate to economic economic advancement, economic yeah. development. Okay, so sir, how about this issue of um, this righteousness? Um, I and you said that righteousness has something with doing the right thing. And you do it not for anything else, but because it's the right thing to do. And that reminds me of our earlier discussion on the Dharma or mm. the duty. Mm. So why is it important for the followers of Confucianism to really, you know, do the right thing, not for the rewards or not because they're afraid to be sanctioned, but because it is the right thing to do? Okay. Uh, actually, it was not... Confu Confucius mentioned righteousness mm -hmm. uh, in his... Uh, in his teachings, but mm -hmm. the one who emphasized righteousness was his follower, mm -hmm. uh, Mencius. Okay. okay? Um, and Mencius identified righteousness with uh, the right path. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, 
he believed in the in the innate goodness mm-hmm. of a, of the human person. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, but together with this innate goodness of the human person, you have mm-hmm. to you have to develop that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's developed through righteousness, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. through doing uh, mm-hmm. right actions, mm-hmm. uh, because it is because they are right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not because of any external mm-hmm. uh, motive or mm-hmm. any d- uh, reward. F- or yeah. sanction. Or fear sanction. of sanction. Oh, fear I of see. sanction. I see. Okay. okay. Uh, <coughs> now, uh, I, w- I, I can relate this to, uh, uh, to our Filipino notion of pagka makatuwiran. I see. No? Okay. Pagka makatuwiran. Okay. Or pagka makatarungan. Okay? Mm-mm, Sometimes mm-mm. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> the interesting thing about righteousness is that the character there is made up of I mm-hmm. uh, and then on top of the character I is a goat. Mm-hmm. In other words, righteousness is carrying a goat. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. In other words, righteousness is carrying a responsibility. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, okay. pagka makatuwiran o pagka makatarungan, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Isagani Cruz to, uh, says that we don't actually have a Filipino Tagalog word for justice. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, of course, we translate justice as justicia. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, we have huh? Katarungan. Katarungan. Yeah. But katarungan is not Tagalog. Mm. Katarungan is Bisaya. I see. Is Cebuano. Okay. Uh-huh. And tarong means straight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Straight. So when you are just, mm-hmm. you are straight. Mm-hmm. You know, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. I didn't know about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I see. And that's very interesting. Katarungan is Cebuano. Uh-huh. It's, it's Cebuano. And the root word is tarong. Tarong, which straight. means straight. The straight path, right? Straight path. Uh, okay. So, sir, in connection with this uh, notion of righteousness, no? Um, one of the, you know, when, when I converse with young people, uh, my impression is that there is this uh, prevailing sense of, you know, this culture of relativism, mm-hmm. wherein they say, now, well, you know, uh, you know, it's my right, it's my body, it's my freedom, and, you know, what is good for me might not be good for you, and what's good for you might not be good for me. So how do we now address this issue of relativism, given that of all the religions that we have mentioned, partic- and including no Confucianism, there seems to be a very clear way of achieving and understanding and imbibing the concept of the right. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung, that, yung tama, no? Mm-hmm. In, in Filipino, we call it yung tama. So uh, how, how do we reconcile that, given that in our environment now, there is that prevalent culture of relativism? Yeah, but uh, it's a relativism that is self, uh, self-centered. Mm-hmm. In other okay. words, mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. What is what counts is me. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. which is very contrary to Confucianism. I see. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, which is also very contrary to our, uh, you might say, indigenous indigenous culture. Uh, culture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Because if you look at our indigenous culture, mm-hmm. what is emphasized is always harmony. Yes. Uh, harmony yes. with others. No? Mm-hmm. It's not me. Mm-mm. It's actually communal. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the, the ethics of our indigenous cultures mm-hmm. is communal, eh? communal. Communal ethics. Mm-mm. And not only communal, it's also, uh, you might say, uh, environmental, mm-hmm. no? yes. you have to harmonize with nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You must not disrupt nature. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Confucianism would emphasize that also, that uh, it's not the golden rule. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the golden rule is the standard. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. But uh, the golden rule is coupled with being true to oneself. No? Mm-hmm. And what is your true self? It mm-hmm. is to be related I see. to others. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So now we can see that this uh, culture of relativism is actually connected to the very individualist culture yeah. Yeah. No? of the West. Of the West. Yeah. And it is not very Filipino no. in a way, right? No. Because our value system tells us that we are actually communal. We are communal. And it's 
connected to the Asian tradition because from Hinduism to Buddhism to Confucianism, the word is compassion. Yeah. Right? I, I've noticed that, you know, in all the three major religions we have been talking about being compassionate with with other with other people and it's not just being it's not being self centered. Mm -hmm. All right. So sir, so that brings us to how all of these religions connect to what the Filipino standard of ethics is. Uh, but before I go into oh, yeah. that, okay. uh, yes, sir. I would also like to emphasize in, mm -mm. Co in Confucianism mm -mm. the importance of the family. Okay, and yes. And that's uh, that, uh, uh, in, a, in a way, mm -hmm. you know, we, um, we belong to that culture of, uh, uh, to the Asian culture in particular mm -mm. with China mm -hmm. because before the Spaniards came, mm -hmm. the, Chine we, the Chinese were already in the Philippines. In the Philippines, yes. uh -huh. and we imbibe mm -mm. somehow or other, or maybe it mm -mm. is also in our culture mm -hmm. that we are family-centered. Mm, okay? okay. But uh, the thing to emphasize, though, is that this importance of the family mm -mm. in Confucianism mm -mm. is open. In other words, it extends to the community mm -hmm. and it extends to the whole universe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike the danger in our culture now is mm -hmm. because of the emphasis of the West on individualism, mm -hmm. our families also have become individualistic. Mm -hmm. So it's my family versus my Your another family. family <laughs> yes. No? Uh -huh. And so we have all these political dynasties, yes. no? which is not uh, Confucian, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. not Confucian at all. Because political dynasties negate the idea of universality, yes, right? And, uh -huh. and harmony. Uh -huh, and harmony. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see. All right. So, sir, uh, given that, uh, well, of course, this statement is going to be debatable, but, you know, I have read some articles saying that the Philippine culture, no, including our standard of right and wrong, uh, is quite damaged, no, because of the marriage of the East and the West. I, can you please uh, tell us, sir, which part now of Filipino culture as we know it now is influenced by these Asian uh, philosophies or Asian teachings, uh, which is somehow lost now because of the very strong Western orientation of our society now? Mm. Mm -hmm. So aside from us being you know, family oriented and, you know, uh, wanting to be in harmony, no, uh -huh. uh, with the community that smooth SIR, smooth interpersonal relationship. Uh -huh. What are those other dimensions of the Filipino culture as we practice it now uh, that are strongly connected to uh, this Asian uh, philosophies? I, I would say uh, the Kapwa philosophy. Mm -hmm. no? Kapwa. The Pakikipag Kapwa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we should bring back mm -hmm. the Bayanihan spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had a picture of uh, people helping uh, a family move house, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that's uh, before mm -hmm. technology, okay? Mm -hmm. But I think we should emphasize, bring back the Pakikipagkapwa, mm -hmm. which is different from Pakikisama. Yes. Uh -huh. okay? Because Pakikisama, you can you can be pakikisama sa corruption. I diba? see. Okay. <laughs> but pakikipagkapwa uh -huh. is actually the golden rule. Mm -hmm. diba? mm -hmm. It's actually the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because pakikisama is that y you join the group mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of joining them even if they're doing something wrong. Uh -huh. Yeah, something bad. But in pakikipagkapwa, it's following the golden rule mm -hmm. uh, and it is something positive. Yeah. right? How about, sir, the concept of loob? Because uh, you're talking of you know mindfulness, you know you know being in touch, contemplation, and when we were explaining those things, you know the the word that came to my mind was loob. Yes. And can you please uh, elaborate on uh, that, sir? Yeah, the one who really studied the uh, loob is uh -huh. Father Leon, Father Mercado. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that was his uh, thesis at the Ateneo. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was published into a, a book. Mm -hmm. So he's into that. Uh, of course, loob. Is, uh, is Tagalog, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, the Cebuano word prevalent would be kabubuton, mm -hmm. okay? Kabubuton. Kabubuton. Uh -huh, okay. O nakem in uh -huh. Ilocano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the, the loob thing is mm -hmm. 
very similar to the mm. Confucian sin. Mm -hmm. uh, sin uh, is heart. heart. Okay. Uh, but better translation would be heart mind. Oh, okay? okay. You say uh, the heart of things. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. The heart of a person. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the equivalent of uh, of loob. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the Confucian virtue of uh, of uh, the golden rule mm -hmm. and consensus, consensusness, yes. uh -huh. there is the character of heart there, mm -hmm. of sin. I see. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, it boils down, of course, to uh, what Menchus, the principal teaching of Menchus, which is the innate goodness I see. of the human person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, sa kaloob-looban natin, mm -hmm. mayroon, mayroon na tayong kabutihan. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. ang, ang dapat lamang gawin mm -hmm. na ilabas ito. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. uh, and i, 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 ano, i, i paunlad yung, mm -hmm. yung seed mm -hmm. of goodness inside mm -hmm. the loob. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. I like that, sir. You, that, that concept of the innate goodness. Because uh, with our young people, uh, when they say magpakatotoo ka, mm -hmm. be true to yourself, it's like, like for example, no, let's say you have a national leader who curses mm -hmm. uh, all the time in yeah. his uh, public appearances. And people, I, I will always see people commenting and saying na at least totoo siya. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say that this national leader is uh, just being true to himself. Mm -hmm. Is that notion not a negation of this inherent goodness this uh, loob that we are talking about because it seems to me that this in that what is in the loob is actually perceived to be by these religions as something good mm. and not something banal or something Correct. something bad uh -huh. so can you elaborate on why there seems to be that confusion uh given that we think that when you say magpakatotoo ka be true to yourself it's uh sigmund freud would have said it's your id I dominating think, I, you. I think that's a wrong perception. <laughs> it's a wrong perception. Uh, okay. I don't think Duterte is nagpapakatotoo. Mm -hmm. yes, I think uh -huh. he's nagpapatawa. I see. Okay. No? Uh -huh. he, he wants to get the, the, uh, no, attention. the, the attention of uh -huh. the people. Okay? Mm -hmm. In other words, it's being self-centered. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. uh, he's being self-centered because instead of, you know... He, he wants to entertain. He, he wants to entertain in a manner... That's not. Uh, he wants to follow the crowd. He wants to. He wants to give to the crowd what they expect from him. All right. Okay. So that that's a good point, no? Because I think it all boils down to our concept of who the human person should be. I think uh -huh. that the the, the magpapakatoo uh -huh. ni, ni Duterte mm -hmm. would be when he was elected president, and then he went to the graveyard of his mother mm -hmm. and he cried. Mm -hmm. That's the true Duterte. Ah, that's magpakatoto. I see. Okay. And that's actually the good side of him, yeah. right? Being respectful of the elders, the oh. mother. Mm -mm. And the, you know, the challenge that he was fa he was going to face, mm -hmm. no? And mm -hmm. he never expected to be to be president, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He was a last minute candidate, mm -hmm. remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. So sir, that brings me to this. Why is it now that many Filipinos seem confused? That when a person acts really rudely or badly, why is it now that we think that that person is just being true? Why do we have such a negative under negative notion of who the human person is? I think uh, that boils down to uh, no, uh, the miseducation of the uh -huh. okay uh, or the miseducation or the lack of education, mm -hmm. or whatever one mm -hmm. term you want to put it, no, mm -hmm. and that's why it's important that. We have this subject, mm -mm. okay, uh, as part of the GE, mm -mm. Well, the ethics, mm -mm. Well, mm -mm. because we need, mm -mm. Uh, we need to, uh, to have, the right notion, uh -huh. the right notion of what it is to so be a true mm. human being, mm. and how you actually actualize that, yeah. that humanity, right? Okay, so sir, um, if I if we have students now who are very interested in Confucianism, and they would like to know more about this uh, this set of 
you know practices this mm -hmm. religion what would be the key points no, that this the, our students should should bear in mind S for them to say that now you know there is a part of me that has been a follower of confucianism okay well begin uh, confucianism begins with loving the family mm -hmm. okay um, that's where it all begins eh no? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, society mm -hmm. develops from uh, families mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. when you have good families it's really the foundation the of foundation society. is the family yeah. mm -hmm. okay so begin with the family loving the family mm -hmm. but do not stay with the family mm -hmm. extend it to the community mm -hmm. no? extend it to anyone Mm -hmm. uh, that you meet, extend it to nature. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, there is such, there is such a thing as love of nature. Mm -hmm. no? So the family is not just the biological family, yes. but it's the wider society, yeah, the wider society, including the environment, including okay. the environment. That's yeah. one uh -huh. because the the Oriental notion of the mm -hmm. human person mm -hmm. is that he is not against nature; mm -hmm. he is part of nature, and he's not about to subjugate. Nature, yeah. I see. All it's right. part of nature. Uh -huh. So if you look at the Chinese paintings, mm -hmm. you never have a painting of an, a face. Mm -hmm. no? It's always a human being mm -hmm. against the background of nature. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Very Taoist, of course. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's so. If you are family oriented, then that's very uh, Confucian yes. in in your in. Yeah, but uh, do not stay within the family. Mm -hmm. Extend. To the wider, wider, wider society, society, the wider community. community. And I think that's also very Filipino, right? Yeah. Uh, we have this SIR, which is the smooth interpersonal yeah. relationship. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, some final words for our students now that we're uh, concluding no, the three sessions on uh, Asian ethical teachings. Uh, okay. What words of advice can you give to our students? Um, if, you, if you look at all the three... Uh, Three religions mm -hmm. or three philosophies, okay, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. What's really common to all three is the golden rule, mm -hmm. okay. But the golden rule uh, is is not only uh, to a fellow human being, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, the golden rule can also be extended mm -hmm. to nature, mm -hmm. okay, uh, because we are part of nature. Mm -hmm. And if we do, if we do not want to be hurt. Mm -mm. then we must also not hurt nature yes okay, okay. Mm -mm. in the same way uh when we uh when we deal with people okay we do not want to be hurt mm -hmm. so we should not also be mm -mm. hurting people mm -mm. so what what uh what serves as a as a uh thread in all three mm -mm. is really non-violence 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 mm -mm. okay mm -mm. And non-violence is not just physical. No? Mm -hmm. uh, hunger mm -hmm. is violence. It's mm -hmm. a form of violence. Mm -hmm. And so we must help others mm -mm. Uh, to survive. Mm -mm. Okay? We must help others uh, live a decent mm -hmm. life because that, that is part of the golden rule. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, sir, uh, thank you very much uh, for your insights, no, for your ideas. Um, I personally learned a lot from from these sessions, um, somehow I became familiar with these uh, Asian religions and I am very inspired also to see that um, as a Filipino, there are still uh, dimensions of the Filipino culture that are still connected no, to this Asian philosophy. So again, thank you, sir, very much You're for welcome. your insights. Okay, So uh, my two key takeaways you know, from this session will be number one, it is really integral that we become very mindful that everything we do, uh, we do it no conscientiously. And the, the second thing that I realize is that compassion cuts across religions. Uh, whether you are a Christian or you are a Hindu or a Buddhist or a follower of Confucianism, compassion is the name of the game. So there you go. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next uh, module on uh, applied ethics. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.